Joe from the NYG Hoops Report. Here with B. How you doing, B? <laughs> Good, how are you? I don't know why I can call you B. Brianna Weir. So I call you B. Weir. How you cool? Well, B's another guard I've been watching for a while. It's kind of funny. She comes to some of my events, but I remember at first, I thought she was a jersey. She played with the Sparks. Yeah. And I, I didn't figure it out until about a year ago that she actually lives in Queens. She's a New York City kid. Now, Today they just played here at the She Got Games. They played it, I guess she was matched up against one of the nation's top guards. And she did a great job. Now wait, tell us how you how did you get started playing? I got started playing watching my uncle play. Who's your I uncle? Michael Austin went to Amityville Memorial High School. Oh my god, I heard him name. <laughs> Team underrated. I started watching him play going on road trips like this. He played in one of these gyms actually. So Going on road trips and just watching the game, learning the game. My whole, I lived in a house with old boys, mm -hmm. so my whole family played and I started getting involved, you know. It was, they didn't want me to play mm -hmm. basketball because they were like cheerleading, pushing out on the road <laughs> and stuff. I was like, no, nah, I want to play. So my dad let me play. I started out with Lightning mm -hmm. in fourth grade and developed my game. Sixth grade, I met Chess Williams Coach at New Heights and I started playing with him and we progressed from there. Now, what are some of your goals with basketball? Some of my goals is to go to a free college. So you get a free education. That's, free education. That's, you know, that's, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Now, this being your fourth high school game, were you a little nervous playing against one of the top guards in the country? No. It, and, I, and it, it didn't showed. Care me. It did, I, listen, it didn't show. Today, she finished with 28 points, was the MVP of the game. Played on both ends, her back court maybe was a little foul trouble. She held it together the whole first half of her team. Now, let's talk about where do you see yourself in four years as a senior? Oh. Or what are some of your goals from now to? I see myself Gatorade Player of the Year, Miss, Miss Basketball of New York, McDonald's All American. That's, That's one of my biggest goals. goals. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Okay, now, what is, tell me your workout, your, your workout regimen. Do you work out every day? Do yes. You, so what's your regimen? Regimen is a lot of conditioning. Mm -hmm. Running, because, you know, as a freshman coming in, playing with AAU, transferring to, you know, to high school. Yeah. I had to... You talk about condition. It seems like you played every, did you, did you sub out this kid? I didn't <laughs> think so. No. And you see when you got stronger at the end. Yeah. So I could see the condition. No. I'm sorry, let me control. What else was it? did you work? Roll handling, try to get that down pack, finishing strong at the rim, my shooting, I'm getting more confident as I've been at Mary Lewis Academy. And pretty much that. Tell me what's a day like at Mary Lewis. Because I know it's a pretty stringent academic situation. So you, you wake up at four, six? Six in the morning, okay. get to school at seven. Okay. You know, study, go to the library. We have classes at 8.30 to start. Just and then you go through the day and after school? After school, we have an hour to get ready for the bus. Okay. So at 3 o'clock, we got to get on the bus, head to St. Clair's. We work out at 4 o'clock, 4 to 6. Sometimes she goes over, but it's okay. <laughs> and then when you get home, what's the homework get home. regimen? Homework, eat, shower, sleep. That's it. It's nothing else. It's no phone. Life of a student athlete. Now, when basketball is done, what do you see yourself doing? I really want to be a I'm kind of going to the sports man. If that don't work, a psychologist. I'm really good at that. Because <laughs> people coming to me with their problems, so I'm really good at that. I think I. So you're good at listening. Good yeah, at good at giving advice. Now tell the people something about you that they don't know. Oh, I watch soap operas. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> All my children. <laughs> the bold and the beautiful. I've never heard that. The Bold and Beautiful, it comes on CBS. One <laughs> thirty. <laughs> I love it. You, so you DV Devo it? Yes. When I come home, as I'm doing my homework, I be, oh my God. It be me and my mom, my grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> now, so, what do you listen to? What kind of music is it? Hardcore. Meek Mill. So five minutes before the game. Yeah, give me five. Do this, do this. Six, nine. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, you know, put a low. Can be rock, you know, J. Cole, 
Yeah, calm. Well, thanks for taking some time to speak to us. Good luck on the season. Thank Matter of fact, no, before we let you go, know, where can the people find you on Instagram? Brianna dot where B R E A U N A. Where can they find you? Oh, I'm sorry. Dot where W A R E. Where can they find you on Twitter? I don't have Twitter. I'm sorry. Oh, that's I'm a snap. Baby. Snap Young Fire Young with two E's, oh. two G's underscore. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus and Jeff.